Although we claim to be friends, I catch your gaze from across the room, even though it doesn't make sense because we're quarreling about our situation. I know I won't end up with you, but friends shouldn't look at each other in that way, or so they say. Love is not always a walk in the park. Finding your soulmate and not being able to be with them is equally challenging. In the past, I used to believe that love was simple, and that once you found the right person, you could be with them effortlessly. However, that is not always the case. Love is much more complex than that, and sometimes, despite your feelings for someone, telling them or being with them may not be the best course of action. Being friends may be the best thing to do in some situations. I met my twin flame in high school, and at the time, I had a boyfriend. We began as classmates and eventually became close friends, which made my boyfriend jealous. Even though we were classmates and shared the same friend group, my boyfriend eventually grew accustomed to us being together frequently. Unfortunately, my boyfriend and I broke up due to a variety of reasons, but mainly because we had grown apart and we wanted different things. Although we loved each other, we had to accept that it wasn't working. We were together for almost six years, so the breakup had a significant impact on me. Following the breakup, I constructed walls and became emotionally detached from others. However, there was one person with whom I would frequently converse and hang out. Yes, you guessed it, my friend, whom I regard as my twin flame. It's no surprise that my boyfriend and I had a together but not quite relationship before we broke up before high school graduation. Later on, my friend and I ended up going to the same college and being classmates since we share similar interests. We spent almost every day together, which made others, including our friends and teachers, think that we were together romantically. I initially denied this and believed that our friendship was purely platonic. However, as time passed, I realized how much he influenced me and how connected I felt to him. I started to wonder if he was my twin flame, but I didn't want to risk losing our friendship or make him think that I was using him to get over my ex. Thus, I tried to avoid him, but fate had other plans. During a partner activity in class, I hoped that I wouldn't get paired up with him, because I was still trying to distance myself from him. Despite my efforts to avoid him after an activity where we both ended up with the same number, fate had other plans. Weeks went by, and one night I found myself feeling sad for no apparent reason, and took to Twitter to vent. To my surprise, my friend was online and began retweeting my posts, and even sent me a private message. We talked about feeling lonely, and he confessed that he knew exactly how I felt. He even went so far as to ask me about the guy I was talking about, but I didn't divulge that information. Despite this, I realized how much he meant to me and decided not to avoid him anymore. I didn't tell him why I had avoided him, but I apologized for it. Though we had an intense attraction, we never acted on it and he respected my boundaries as I was healing from a previous relationship. I realized that he is my twin flame, as we share the same values and have an intellectual connection on a different level since I met him. I've experienced a great deal of personal growth, although it was not due to any specific influence he had over me. Instead, I found myself becoming more self-aware and learning more about myself, becoming more tolerant of my flaws and more empathetic. Our friendship has had an incredible impact on me, making me grow in ways I never imagined were possible. However, our relationship is too important to me, which is why I cannot risk it by entering into a romantic relationship with him at this time. Although I love and care deeply for him, I'm still recovering from past traumas and don't want my toxicity to ruin our friendship. I realize that he feels the same way. Although we make perfect sense together, 
We need to address other matters first, but I have faith that if we are truly meant to be together, fate will find a way to bring us together. No matter what obstacles we may face, sometimes you have to let go of the person you love, so that you can both grow and find your way back to each other.